Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have an animal, a hippo. So it's kind of close up on the head, um, as usual, but uh, the hippo's floating in water. So floating, walking, <laughs> swimming. Um, so we got some water down the bottom, basically. Okay, so I'm on landscape orientation paper. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast, right? So, we'll start with the eye, right? So center point to my page is about here. So we'll just come up and we'll just start the eye. And leave a bit of room from the top of your page just for the head and the ears, okay? So we're gonna start with this lemon sort of shape for the eye, right? So it curves around here. And then curves around the bottom. So I like to think of it like a lemon, that kind of shape. And the sort of horizontal or diagonal, should I say, we're going down like this way, okay? So in there, then we have the iris and the pupil. So you just draw a sort of a circle just there. And then the pupil just in the middle, okay? So then around that then, so we've got like eye lines and stuff, right? So we got like a line coming around the bottom, just here. And then the eyelid line on the top. Going around like so. I think it actually joins back here. And it's this kind of line like that. So then our hippo has sort of a big um, line coming around the top of the eye, right? So it's gonna go, let's say this way, so we'll go up and around. And it kind of comes back down here. And then we might have another extra sort of wrinkle line here. This is like an eyebrow or something. And then another bag underneath the eye here. And this comes off towards the ear that way. Right, and then, so we'll go, we'll go down towards his sort of snout, right? So it's kind of down towards the nose so we'll go diagonal this way right and then we'll sort of bump this up here and we go a little bit further so he's got a real big long front of the face right so this is where the nose starts so we come around for the nostril sort of here if you're wondering like proportions, how big, right? This whole area will go down once, twice, three times, right? So the eye, the whole eye, once, twice, three times. That's how long you want to make the face com in comparison to the eye, just to keep everything in proportion. So then another bump sort of coming down here. And then we got that big mouth, right? So really big. comes down like so and then this has a sort of um, a bumping sort of snout kind of area right so it's gonna go like down like so and around right real big around like that and then his bottom lip will sort of come out, say, here. It's down, like all wrinkly and stuff. And maybe I'll just do like an extra line just here.
Right, so then, uh, so this is like the jaw sort of area, right? So we're like, we're sort of underneath the, the eye here, right? And it's, it's, he doesn't really have a, like a strong jaw or anything. It's just sort of rolls of fat and things like that. And then his lip can have some like extra lines on it, like so, like some wrinkles and stuff. And then the other nostril, up over here, flat along the top of his nose, because you know, when he's underwater and things, he needs to be able to breathe. And then we got like a skin flap or something up there. And then like another sort of wrinkly sort of nose line and stuff coming around here. Right, and then there's like, there's another light line that goes back towards the eye. Goes up around, maybe up around the back. Like that. It kind of looks like a cow or something. Um, right, so then he has sort of another mouth sort of line coming down here. If you've ever seen them with their mouths open, they're massive mouths, right? So like this is like another line that goes back towards the eye, back that way. And then he could have some like wrinkly bits and skin and stuff. Coming out there, maybe some coming up here as well. Now these are just texture lines. These are totally optional. You could just color and not do any texture, but I do like adding some texture, especially when they're like animals like this. Okay. Right, so we'll finish sort of the back of the head and then some what we can see of the body and then we'll do some whiskers and things. So we can see this bump of the other eye over behind his head back over here, right? So we can go start it here and then it'll curve up and down there. Right, so then this will go up around the back of this eye, right? And then go up towards his his top of his head. And this will start to go down, right? Just here. But we can see his ears now. So we can see some like an ear section just like here, right? And this is kind of they're they're relatively small, so it goes up and around here. Then we bring it down. Down this way. And then we can see like the back of his ear. Just here. And this kind of goes in towards his head. And there's like a sort of a fold of fat just here coming off his ear. And then there's like some wrinkles here. like a line inside the ear, there could be shadow inside, you know, you could make it a little bit darker. And then we can see a little bit of the ear over the other side of his head, just back here. And then again, there might be like, lines coming up this way. Do, 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 do. Right, so then the back of his head, so we'll go this way. So we'll bring it down, right, like this, kind of a bumping sort of line, and then it comes down like so. And we have a fold of fat, and then this goes off. Skin and fat and stuff, that's what hippo mostly is made up of. So then, his neck is kind of in water, right? So, let's see. So we started, started here. Kind of comes around. Like another sort of fat line. Just 
just there right and then this line comes around this way right so and then we have another sort of fat line here skin and fat and wrinkles and things and there's another one i think behind his head he's going up this way as well So then the washer line comes across here, waving sort of across this way. And then the other side of it, like so. And if you want, you can add like some more sort of lines here just to show that he's sort of sitting in the water Right, and then there's just some more uh, wrinkles and things back back here. So like another big chunky sort of line here, and then another one going that way. Like so. Um, oh yeah, and so there's like, there's all whiskers and things up here, right? And you can add as much of these as you want, right? So you'll just do sort of these dots, kind of like, you know, um, kind of what um, tigers and lions and stuff have going this way and going up this way. Right, so things like that, and then there will be some like whiskers. There is loads on this hippo. I'll draw just as much as I can. But I think that that's everything. You can thicken up the line, the edge line sometimes um, in drawings like these, it can help. Not essential, but if you want it. Sometimes it'll just make it so there's like darker lines and shadows and things in some places.
always tough to know where to stop and when to stop with drawings like these, but I think that'll have to do, guys. I hope it was helpful. That's how to draw a hippo. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.